Messi is the most overrated player in football history, and I'm going to give you four reasons why. So number one is his uh, not proven as an individual player. So Messi is someone who has always played with the most amazing players of all time. For almost his entire career, he played with Xavi and Iniesta in midfield, who uh, fed him balls so good that your grandma could finish them off. He literally played in a team that was called the greatest team of all time, with Puyol, Busquets, Henry, Valdez, Eto'o, and Alves. And these were players who were in the prime of their careers. This wasn't a 35-year-old Iniesta in Japan. This was a prime Xavi, Iniesta, Busquets midfield that I'm pretty sure could even assist Darwin Nunes. After playing with the world's greatest players in Barcelona, he moved to PSG, who have been ridiculed for over 10 years because they were in a billion-dollar oil money-backed team in a farmer's league where PSG easily dominate every single year. In this superstar billion-dollar PSG side, Messi plays with Mbappe, Neymar, Verratti, Hakimi, Marquinhos, Sergio Ramos, and Di Maria up until recently. They also have world-class keepers Donnarumma, uh, fresh from winning the Euros, and Navas, a uh, key player in Real Madrid's amazing Champions League run in 2016 to 2019, where they won it three times in a row. Now, you would think, with such an incredible billion-dollar team behind him, in a league mocked as Farmer's League, he should be scoring hat-tricks every week, or at the very, very least, continue his Barcelona form. What he ended up doing in his first season was score only six goals in the French Farmers League, which is incredible. For context, teenager Mason Greenwood that year scored six goals for Man United as well, even though he was arrested in October and never played again, less than two months after the season started. Messi had the whole season to pad his stats in the French Farmers League, not the Premier League, and failed to do anything notable. There is no debate that Messi is a talented player, but as many people have said, including Lewandowski, uh, Messi is a system player. What that means is he needs an amazing team around him to perform. Here are a few quotes to show what this means. Uh, I think Messi is a Barcelona player, but Ronaldo could be playing for Stockport County and he would score a hat-trick. Sir Alex Ferguson. With all due respect, uh, Messi is not Cristiano. We focus on PSG as a unit. Mbappe isn't any problem here. He is Barcelona system player. Oh, I'm sorry, Messi isn't any problem here. He's Barcelona system player. If we were playing against Ronaldo, then yes, there would be a special plan because Ronaldo is Ronaldo. He's the key. And that was uh, Coach Clement, who was the Monaco coach. Uh, he answered a question about how to stop Messi. And he was right. So that game in February, uh, Monaco beat PSG 3-1, and Messi didn't score or assist. So now let's talk about the Argentina national team. Uh, Messi was so upset to have won nothing with them that in 2016 he retired from international football after losing the Copa America against Chile. Uh, not the attitude of an elite player. And he finally did win the World Cup in 2022, although there was much controversy surrounding it. Uh, five penalties were awarded to Argentina, and more than a few of them under controversial circumstances, including diving. Uh, fans were left wondering why VAR had not overturned the decisions after instant replays revealed clear diving that would make Neymar proud. Aside from the penalties that many fans call uh, gifted penalties for Messi, uh, he wasn't even their best player. He wasn't even their second best player. Uh, Emiliano Martinez and uh, Enzo Fernandez and Di Maria all performed much better. Messi can play well in a Barcelona system with amazing players around him, but put him in a mediocre or mid-table team and he will be at a loss for the difference he can make. Now, the second reason is his Champions League performances. So his performances uh, since he won it in 2015 have, haven't been good enough, uh, getting knocked out every single year since he played with Neymar, Xavi, Iniesta, Busquets, Piquet, and Suarez. Are you uh, noticing a pattern here yet? Most notably is his awful performances since 2019, where he scored only three goals in the competition and got destroyed 4-0 by Liverpool, knocking them out. In 2020, he scored only five goals and got knocked out by a Bayern side, 
that humiliated them again by eight goals to two. Unsurprisingly, Messi did not score. In 2021, Messi again scored zero goals as Bayern knocked out Barcelona in another humiliating 4-0 blowout. In 2022, Messi scored zero goals across both legs of the round of 16 as they were beaten by Real Madrid. Mbappe scored the only goals completely unhelped. In 2023, Messi scored zero goals as Bayern knocked them out with an aggregate of 3-0. After the game, PSG fans booed Messi in their Uber Eats League game against Rennes, where he didn't score and lost 2-0 at home. Messi was angry and left the tunnel without shaking any hands or thanking any fans. In conclusion of his Champions League career, where even Casemiro and Varane have more trophies, it seems that Messi cannot win the trophy or even get to a final without Xavi, Busquets, and Iniesta behind him. The same is said about Pep Guardiola, that he will never win the Champions League again without Prime Messi, Xavi, Iniesta, Puyol, Pique, and Eto in this team. Pep and Messi are very similar in this way, where they need the world's best players around them in order to get anywhere. And I wanted this video to focus on Messi only and not compare him to Cristiano, but the one stat I would like to mention is that in Messi's four Champions League winning campaigns, he had 39 goals and assists. Across Ronaldo's five Champions League winning campaigns, he had 91 goals and assists. Messi isn't even in the top 10 greatest Champions League players ever. Most of the Real Madrid and Bayern squads during that era are objectively more successful. Now the third reason is media bias. So it is well known that any time Ronaldo does something, uh, no matter how small, it is front page headlines in every sports newspaper and online site in the world. When Messi does something, such as fuming and running down the tunnel, the media is silent. This Bleacher Report post says it all. They used to post things like this all the time, making fun of the Farmers League and PSG's dominance until Messi came. All of a sudden, they stopped calling it that and even made posts congratulating Messi for winning the Uber Eats League last year. People all over the world regularly uh, referred to the French League as the Farmers League until Messi came. Now, Messi fanboys and football papers who are Messi fans absolutely refuse to call it that anymore. In fact, they, would even, they even try to hype up the league, saying it's the fifth best in the world. We all know how they would feel about the French League if it was Ronaldo who went there, and Messi went to the Premier League. Now, Messi's 20, 2022 World Cup victory is another example of bias in the media. Can you imagine the ridicule that Ronaldo would receive if he won the World Cup due to being granted five penalties? The chance of Penaldo would still be heard today. But because it's Messi, people change their mind and say Messi is amazing for winning the World Cup and don't even talk about the penalties controversy. Those penalties were set up by his teammates, by the way. Messi is always favorited by newspapers and organizations such as FIFA. Even Messi fans couldn't help but be confused as to why he won the Ballon d'Or two years ago, and not Lewandowski, who outperformed him on every level and won the Champions League. Messi fans again were puzzled this year as he took home the FIFA best men's player over Benzema, who scored back-to-back hat-tricks in the Champions League against PSG and Chelsea, winning the competition and lifting his 5th Champions League trophy, as well as La Liga, UEFA Super Cup, Spanish Super Cup, and Nations League. Benzema argue, had arguably the greatest Champions League campaign in history, and lost to a man who scored 6 league goals and 5 penalties in the World Cup. Mbappe also lost the award to Messi, which is ridiculous considering Mbappe scored 32 more goals than Messi, and scored a hat-trick in the World Cup Final, which is the first time anyone has done that since 1966. The more controversy surrounds the bias that Messi receives when, just recently, Barcelona was accused of paying off referees in the mid to late 2010s when Messi was playing for them. Although, although no verdict has been reached yet, the criminal charges against Barcelona are expected to go to trial, with the prosecution confident with their evidence against Barcelona and their corruption scandals. Now the fourth reason why Messi is the most overrated player of all time, is the regrets from coaches and leadership. So Mauricio Pochettino, who signed Messi, um, he recently came out and said that Cristiano Ronaldo would have been a better fit for this PSG team than Messi. With all due respect to Messi, he fits better in the Barcelona system only. Only. I wish we had signed Ronaldo. So when even the coach has regrets, you know it's bad. 
And the last thing I will mention is that Messi is not a leader. When you think of any great player in football history, they have all been captains and leaders. Messi is someone who hides in the shadows when it comes to motivating the team. He is as inspirational to his team when they're down as Harry Maguire is. And even fellow Argentine legend uh, Diego Maradona had this shocking statement about Messi. Uh, he said, For me, it's difficult to say it because it's useless to make uh, a leader out of a man who goes to the bathroom 20 times before a game. And this is someone who was supposed to be one of Messi's biggest supporters. And he also said this about Messi after he lost the 2016 Copa America and retired from Argentina. Maradona said, Messi is a good person, but he has no personality. He does not have the personality of a leader. And if there is one Argentine you should listen to, it's Maradona, whose legendary 1986 campaign remains unmatched. And Messi fanboys will probably say that they know more than Maradona. And these are the reasons why Messi is the most overrated player in football history. Is he amazing? Uh, yes, no doubt. But to call him the greatest player ever is an insult to others who actually are. Uh, the, and the media and the 12-year-old Messi fans would try to convince you otherwise, but uh, unfortunately, facts are just more powerful than that.